I didn't have much, um, I guess, restrictions when we started this podcast. Okay. What do you mean by restrictions? Like things I didn't want to do. Mm. Are you sure? I don't remember. <laughs> but one of the things I really didn't want to do. Mm. Was- no, well, the only reason I said that was because... <laughs> I think it was November 9th where you were like, I really did. No, no, no. That's where I'm heading at. I never wanted to read Coho. Uh-huh. Which we have. <laughs> and I never wanted to read a Sarah J. Mass book. But then when we read one, I was like, at least that was the only one. Like, there's no way we're gonna ever going to read Akamath. Cue to us being here today. <sighs> Damn. I I'm kind of I wanted to be the girly that after we read it because you told me I'm not blaming I was like blaming you said mm. that the second one's better than the first mm-hmm. so I um I went in with a lot of like I guess like zero zero expectations because I didn't want to be like judge it before I read it. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be a Reese girly because everyone online talks about Reese. Mm-hmm. Rice. 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 <laughs> I think it's, it's Reese. So, Reese. So Reasoned. I'm I'm here. Uh-huh. I'm standing strong and I think I'm ready to finally pull off this two month long band aid of Akamath. I read this two months ago. Dude, I am <sighs> so sorry you had to sit with it for so long. Yeah. Um I wish I would have read it recently, but there was no fucking way I was going to reread that book. There mm-hmm. was just no way. Um, <laughs> it, trust me, <laughs> it's still it's still a band aid that needs to come off. Okay. After it's off, I don't know what your plans are. Akawar. Hmm. We'll discuss that <laughs> as we discuss Akamath. So, do you think that this very very popular sequel mm-hmm. can fix your life? sure hope so <laughs> welcome to the book fix podcast a podcast where we fix lives one akamath book at a time i'm your host jahida and i'm your host chelly and um as a as a one long time ago read the first book mm-hmm. tamlin supporter right we i don't remember how we felt about the first book i think we were both kind of like meh yeah, I think so too. But I do remember that Tamlin was super sweet in the first book. Yeah. So I was like, damn. But we knew. Yeah, we did know. But I didn't expect such a quick shift. Uh-huh. Because from what both of us had known after we finished reading the first book, which was Akatar, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, I had heard that Tamlin was not going to be the love interest. Yeah. It was supposed to be Reese. Mm-hmm. And at the end of Akatar, Reese is known. He he's like under Amarantha's like power. Power, I guess, cuz he's he's like her subject. Mm-hmm. And like gets he- hella sexual the favors mistress. done. For- yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't want to use the word that they use, but <laughs> yeah. um so that's kind of what he does or was imprisoned to do and then when Feyre kills Amarantha Mm -hmm. he's free too but then at the end Reason is like hey I helped you in there don't forget what I did in there okay so well they they made the deal before the Amarantha yeah so they they bonded together Mm -hmm. during the trials that she went through with Amarantha Mm -hmm. and basically with the trial she is forced to be with him one week out of every month, right? Yes. Something like that. And at first she didn't want to do it She because she was in love with Tamlin. She was like, no, but can wait. And then also now she has a mark on her hand where she can like feel Reese and Reese can feel her too. Yes. Really quick because we've <laughs> never talked about it. Do you remember the comment that we got on Akatar? Yeah, I remember. Somebody uh, reviewed us and... I guess they watched our Akatar video and they did like it, but they were like, oh, but it, it gets better. Right? But do you remember what they said about our view? Because we had both mentioned in Akatar, like, she couldn't solve the riddle. Like, of course the word is love. Like, that was the whole thing. Mm-hmm. How did she not solve that riddle? And someone in the comments was like, 
Because she's never felt it. That's the point. Mm. I mean, I get it. I I get it. I don't. Because <laughs> I'm just kind of like. But fair is not that bright. No I offense. She was. No, she's not like that. I think she's like skilled in like hunting. Yeah. But like bright? I guess so because she's just so relatable. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Farah, I'm seen. Wait, it's love. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everyone in the fucking audience was like, oh my God, finally. Love. <laughs> I feel so bad for her, but whatever. I think about that comment sometimes. But now going into Akamath, we are. Wait, first. Akatar ended. With her killing Amarantha. Well, first Amarantha killed her. Yeah. And then she was brought back. Amarantha. Amarantha dead. Mm -hmm. And so now Feyre is like, she's Faye now. Oh, These yeah. bitches are Faye, by the way. And so she's Faye now. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, she's going to go run off with Tamlin, be happy. Good but Reese her. sees her and he's just like, don't forget. Don't forget. I'll see you next month. First of the month. I'll see don't you, forget. babe. Well, not the first of the month. It's just any time. Any he can just, week of the month. Yeah. And so oh, that's, how, okay. that's how Akatar ended. And honestly, it, it could have just ended there. Yeah. You know, like the way that it ended, it like pretty much like closed up the story. That's why I don't really like, because what I had expected from Akamath, because that was Akatar's ending. So what I had expected from Akamath was... Tamlin was slowly going to become something he wasn't. Mm. But nope, it was right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. He ain't the bitch we thought he was. Because she's over here dealing with so many like... Trauma. Trauma nightmares, terrors, yeah. night terrors. Because, I mean, she was in prison for a long time. I forgot yeah. how long that was with Amarantha. Yeah, but it was also because Amarantha forced her to kill those people yep. to save Tamlin. Mm -hmm. And so she would remember them. She would see them and she would wake up and fucking throw up. And it's really sad because she's over here like really, really skinny. Yeah. She, she hasn't eaten. She hasn't been able to eat properly. Uh, she's unhappy in these, in these <sighs> fucking walls. You know, she's in this castle and Tamlin just doesn't really yeah. notice. He's just like, all right, babe, here's some new paints. See you later. And how do you feel like when she wakes up like screaming, crying, throwing up? <laughs> mood. He, <laughs> but, like he just doesn't he, acknowledge. He just like turns the other way. He's like opens open the door. Babe, I'm trying to sleep. I'm really trying I'm to sleep. Sorry, babe. I'm trying to sleep. Don't be rude. You think I just look like this on purpose? <laughs> no. 50 step mm -hmm. <laughs> skin routine. You need a, you know. Yeah. So. And then at this time, Tamlin has a lot of pressure on him. Yes. Because him and his people, Lucian, whoever else, they're hunting like some sort of beasts that were associated with Amarantha. Like they're just hunting these creatures. Mm -hmm. And so he's like fucking feeling this weight on his shoulders like i gotta protect the love of my life remember yeah. i saw you die i can't experience that again it was really hard on me yeah <laughs> and you really don't get it okay uh -huh. I fucking hate it. I fucking... oh god i was so angry at him at the beginning yeah. by the way reese hasn't contacted her no at all m.i.a m.i.a mm -hmm. she's like hey. <laughs> a month has passed and nothing uh, I, because then she starts thinking oh maybe he was a joke maybe he was joking maybe uh, it was just like he's funny yeah so what ends up happening is the wedding finally happens yes. and let me just say i fucking hated the fact that first of all she's not going to be known as the high lady because tamlin tells her that's not a thing here there's no high ladies here you're just no. the lady of the spring court and that's it and so she's kind of bummed about it. And she's also bummed about the fact that she can't get out of this castle yeah. because he doesn't want her to get out. He, he, he like gets mad at her for wanting to leave. Mm -hmm. He's almost like appalled by it. Like, wait, why do you yeah. want to come with me? Why do you want to come with me in, during my dangerous endeavors when you could just be in the castle and paint all day? Mm -hmm. But she hasn't been able to paint because she's so traumatized. Yep. And so finally the wedding is happening. It, it, and is it the wedding? 
yeah it's the wedding because remember she got this like really ugly wedding dress yeah and she's just like so uncomfortable in it and she's so unhappy and she's just thinking like i am i don't want to get married like like this you know mm -hmm. and i think she voices it to somebody i don't remember if it was Tamlin it was the or, friend yeah it was right? the friend because even she even tells the friend i don't remember his name but it's like you you were my fucking friend and lucian? you're watching me lucian mm -hmm. it's like you're watching me rot in here and you're not doing anything to even help me get out well the yes but i think the wedding dress part was the girl the, i forgot her name but there was a girl there that was with her whatever and they tell her like oh well this is just what you have to do like you mm -hmm. have to wear this dress Mm -hmm. so get out there girl and get married and so she's over here about to marry tamlin about to say i do when she's just like praying please please I, let me get out of here let me get out of here and um then that's when she feels a sudden oh. movement in her heart Wait, and shut up tamlin <laughs> shut up tamlin don't say fucking say anything okay <laughs> and then reese shows up and he's just like mocking tamlin he's just like laughing at the situation and he's like wow that dress hideous <laughs> and he's just like oh i came to take my girl for the week that she promised oh was i interrupting something oh <laughs> wait what are you, are you getting married <laughs> and you Crazy didn't invite bitch. me wait that's so <laughs> fucked up mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by the way lucian and her, um vera have a conversation before the wedding and it's lucian who says isn't this what all human women wish for? A handsome fairyland to wed and shower them with riches? He is giving you as much free reign as he can. Uh -huh. I fucking hate was, it, Lucian. Was Tamlin, like, violent? Not to her. But I remember he would, like, his anger would be kind of intense, no? It would. He wasn't a good guy. I kind of hate that it felt like he would only come after she was done crying have sex and then yeah but he did it. apologize while they were having sex do you remember that where he yeah, was like, like he apologized sorry. Like, I'm sorry it's not what you expected but trust me it's gonna be great trust me you're gonna love being my wife yeah it's gonna be so great babe i could keep you inside and yeah it's gonna be so great <laughs> that's the game <laughs> i could keep you inside and you could paint all day yeah. oh my god and then like on other days maybe you can paint with like different colors i don't know um so reese gets her and she's so like a she's against it mm -hmm. the first time, right? She's kind of mad at him. Mm -hmm. She's just like, "Why did you? Why did you just show up out of nowhere?" Mm -hmm. And he's like, "Well, I don't know if you've noticed, girl, but like we both have a mark. Hello, and I can I've pretty much heard you every <sighs> fucking night, just throwing <laughs> up and shit. And you know me, Reese, just love living and vibing. I've been getting bad vibes from you, yeah, and it's really bothering me. Like literally, stop crying, bitch. Mm -hmm. So." I just thought I spend this week together and I, I don't think because I don't know what she expects out of this. Mm -hmm. But his only thing is like, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to fucking read. I'm going to teach you how to fucking read. So here, sentence a day. Here's your sentence. And then she's like, I'm not I'm not going to read this in front of you. It's like, no, no, no. It's fine. Give it a try. Give it a try. And it says like, reason is a very handsome man. Mm -hmm. And she reads it and he's like good sentence bitch <laughs> read it three thousand times <laughs> and then that's she just gets sentences like this mm -hmm. i think it's kind of like <laughs> i fucking hate it because the only words she's gonna be able to read are those types of words yeah so she's gonna like see a story or something and when reason's name pops up it's like yeah that's the only word he told me <laughs> <laughs> and that's it and also handsome i thought yeah i thought i would have liked it if he actually took more effort to teach her how to read that felt kind of dumb. I didn't really like that. I think like he that. did, though. I think that was just, like, the the joke part. But then after that, he would. Remember, no, he was, like. all sentences like that? But don't you remember afterwards, he was, like, here's my library, bitch. Mm -hmm. And it's the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it's all. And every single bug. Why are you in all of these? I don't. <laughs> he's just the guy who always flexes he's standing by the library i don't know bitch i know reading is hard for you but, but some like, of us are just <laughs> like, 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 like trembling I, I don't know bitch he would never call her bitch thank you i um why did but Tamlin... she she likes the night court 
Because when, when he takes her to the night court, she's like, wow, it's so beautiful here. Yeah. And basically, I think, I don't remember if it was early on, but he tells her that his people were in hiding mm-hmm. when Amarantha was, you know, fucking shit up. Yeah. And so he basically, that's why he was under her, like, control, mm-hmm. because he had everybody hidden. Um, I forgot to mention, but another thing that he wants to teach her is how to shield her emotions, mm-hmm. right? Or just how to shield so people can't, like, read her. Mm-hmm. And so they do it together. And he will, like, go into her mind. And he's like, push me away. I fucking dare you. Uh-huh. And they just do that a lot. Uh-huh. Doesn't she break into his mind at one point? Yeah. Right? Good on that bitch. After a while, yeah. She does. Um, so she goes back to Tamlin, right? And it's just kind of like, this kind of fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't think Tamlin drank his respect women juice this whole book. I think he just forgot. Yeah. I think he was like, I have wife already. Why do I need it? Yeah. No, they're not married yet. <laughs> oh, well, almost married. Yeah. They're, they're now just engaged. That's so funny. You just come back after you were about to get married, fucking almost walking down, about to get married. It's like, oh, hey. Did you still want to? Did you still want to get married, baby? Wait, or... no. Why did wait? Why did you gain weight, <laughs> dude? She was like eating so well mm-hmm. in the fucking night, night court. court. So I hate when when Reese would come back and it's like, do you even fucking feed her? Mm-hmm. Like, why was Tamlin so bad? Mm-hmm. I wanted him to at least for for it to be something you let go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like. When we okay. read these hollow vows and it was between two characters and we obviously had a favorite, mm-hmm. but I still felt bad for the, for the other one. character, mm-hmm. even though he wasn't completely great. Yeah. I wanted that. And we didn't get that. It was just kind of like, no, you have Tamlin's to Tamlin's a one. bitch. Yeah. <sighs> I, I mean, he was good shit. in the, in the first book. So he kind of just like flipped like a whole 180 in this one. And I think the the excuse for him was just that he had lost her and he just couldn't handle it again. Ooh, you, you asked about this. Um, Tamlin does blow up at her because when she comes back the first time, he's like, babe, babe, I kind of, I don't know, maybe I misread the situation, but it kind of feels like you don't want to marry me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's crazy. I know. Uh-huh. And she's like, Tamlin, babe. Why would you say that? I do want to marry you. Mm -hmm. But you telling me this every single day while you give me fucking paint and don't let me go outside is like I'm drowning. Mm -hmm. So you need to really like just kind of step back. And maybe maybe marriage will come later. Mm -hmm. And then he fucking like turns around and like destroys furniture. Yeah. And then remember he also wanted her to spy on the night court. Oh, yeah. And she was like, um... Because he was like, where were you? What what was around you? What was going on? And she was just like, um, this is weird. She's like Twister for seven days. Yeah, that was literally <laughs> it. And we were fully clothed. Boring. Oh, I remember. He literally locks her in her room. Remember that? Tamlin? Yeah, Tamlin. He locks her in her room. And I think he did have an outburst where he yeah. like fucking destroyed shit. Why did he have an outburst? I don't think because she didn't want to marry him. Yeah, it was. It was because she wanted to push it. Yeah. And then he got really mad, broke windows, furniture, mm-hmm. and the gift that he gave her. He's so, he's such a bitch. Yeah. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, at least make him a little redeemable. I'm okay with him not being the one that she ends up with, mm-hmm. but I hate this whole like, no, hate him now. Mm-hmm. He so sucks. Stupid. But basically, when Tamlin locks her in the room, she starts feeling very claustrophobic mm-hmm. because of everything that she's been through and reason because he can feel her he shows up and basically saves her yep and takes her back to the night court <laughs> dude i think it's really funny the second time they show up and reese and tamlin are like talking and Feyre hears them and it's just reese going like are you guys okay on food like, are you guys good because like she ain't looking too hot yeah i mean she is looking hot but like, but, like she ain't looking good yeah. and tamlin's like so offended but it's like you're not even like contributing to her health Mm -hmm. or her well-being you're just like kind of just keeping her to the side Mm -hmm. and they don't even talk anymore it's just he gets angry at her breaks shit apologizes comes back later for sex and then leaves Mm -hmm. i really like the part that comes up i'm gonna skip ahead a little because not really much happened 
script. But um, I really like the part where um, Reason and Feyre are standing together. And then it's like, tell me one truth, babe. <laughs> babe, tell me one truth. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. And she's like, I think I fell in love with someone who was just being nice to me. Yeah, she she was literally like, I, I would have fallen in love with anybody, anybody who showed me like kindness. That's, That's so sad. Oh I my I get it though because she she had nothing where mm-hmm. where she came from, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden to be around this person who finally was attracted to her, mm-hmm. although his was just for a sexual reason. It sucks coming to that realization like, oh, I'm just in another prison again. I think he did love her in the beginning, but then it turned. You think so, though? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you think if she hadn't died in front of him, would the love have been different? I think he eventually would have just maybe stopped loving her, but... It wasn't Seeing, forever. Yeah, it wasn't a forever thing. Mm. It was a, a very short-lived love. So then, like, this whole Reese versus Tamlin thing just kind of becomes, like, you're taking my property mm-hmm. type thing. So that's why Tamlin just became irredeemable at mm-hmm. this point. I really like that part, though, when she said that. Because it's just kind of voiced. And then she was like, there it is. I said it. It's it's out there now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then I think after that, when she goes back... Because I think she does go back that time. Um, no, I don't think she ever goes back. After him lock, after he locks her in the room? I don't remember what comes first. But I do know that she just like is over it. She's like, I'm not going to marry this man. I don't ever want to come back to this court. Mm-hmm. And she leaves. And Reese is like, welcome. Welcome to the night court. Welcome home, babe. Uh, it's not like I thought you were going to live here, but this house is yours. <laughs> it's like all set up. Feyre's house. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> this whole wing is yours. <laughs> no, all for you, babe. You can have the library, too, if you want to read about me. Mm-hmm. But um, he's so, like, trusting to her. It's like, would you want to join us mm-hmm. for, like, whatever mission we're about to do? You can come with all of my people. And then she was shocked because she's just yeah. like, wait, you want me to come? And he's like, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Stay here and, and paint to- up. <laughs> I know. And she gets to wear her, her tunic and pants again, mm-hmm. which is like her comfort outfit. Mm-hmm. So she's over here like, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And she's scared of showing up to meet the people of the night court for the first time. Mm-hmm. But when she meets them, they're all like super chill. Yeah. How do you feel about They're the just way- like, oh, my God, we have not stopped hearing about you. Why? I know. Reese is like, shut up. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> But um, how do you feel about the way that Sarah J. Mass spells everyone's name? I don't love it. Because isn't the girl's name just Morgan? But they spell like Morgan. Yeah. Maybe I, it's supposed to be pronounced more again. More again. More again. I think it's just Morgan. <laughs> You're giving her too much credit. Maybe. I think it's just Morgan. Cassian. Um And everyone else. <laughs> I can't remember everyone's name right now. As Azazel? Yeah. No. That's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Az- Azuriel? Az- Az- that's an angel. Uh, <laughs> Azriel. Azriel. That's literally what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you said Azazel. Okay, Az- but. Azriel. Um, all of these people are just. Oh, Amrin, Azriel, Cassian, Ke- Cassian. Morgan. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. But they're all over here and it's like, hey, we want to, we got this mission. They want to break into a court, right? I think that's what they're doing. Uh, yeah. For what? It's because of Jurian. Who is Jurian? <laughs> Tune in next time while I fucking look it up. I don't fucking remember who he is. It was so funny because literally... <laughs> Because, Chelly, you finished this recently. I finished this two months ago. Mm-hmm. And then you said something like, I don't care about Jurian. And I was like, who? <laughs> who the fuck is that? Wasn't Jurian someone who was also there when they were under Amarantha? Like in, under? I, like hidden? Yeah, I think so. But then they also talked about Jurian being resurrected. And I was like, wait, who the, who the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what's happening? And then it was the Court of Dreams? Yeah, there was a Court of Dreams. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, but they were supposed to do this whole mission and um, 
dude, this story is so dense. Mm-hmm. Right? Because yeah. I know she 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 hangs out with the friends and she's like, oh my god, all of your friends are kind of chill. Yeah, everyone like, everyone in the night court. And it's like, yeah, okay, so there's some shit going down, and we need to go do this shit here. And they never really ever tell her what the plan is. It's always like it's, just something. It's very shit's vague. Going down, Feyre. That's all you gotta know. Just trust me. Do you not trust me? I. You've read about me. I'm a very handsome and smart man. <laughs> oh, you also wrote that down. <laughs> no, you don't get it. It's still it's still fact. Mm-hmm. So then, like, she's helping with shit, but she likes it because she feels like she's included in the night court. Mm-hmm. And then she is also um, training with reason to. Um, to strengthen her powers. Yeah. And um, there's... The- Tamlin never wanted her to learn how to fight or learn how to control her powers because he was just like, you don't need to. He- I got you, girl. And that's the whole thing with like Tamlin just seeing her as property too because Tamlin was very protective. Mm-hmm. And he just never wanted her to ever do anything. Mm-hmm. So she just had to stay in her room because safest place. Just locked her door. He reminds me of... um, What's his name? Golem? I was like, my precious. <laughs> that that's one? Tablet. That's literally tablet. <laughs> Someone goes next to the door. He's like barking. <laughs> he's like, oh, sorry. Sorry, hi, Lord. Um, Whatever his fucking title is. But um, so there is like this shit going down that's going to affect the mortal realm. Mm-hmm. And so they go to the mortal realm to go visit her family. And it's kind of awkward because it's like, hey, sissies. Hey, remember me? I've been gone for a minute. Don't look at my ears. <laughs> Don't look at Look at them. They're like completely so, so. Um, I died. Hey. But I'm here now. Yeah. Nesta was pissed. Yeah, she was. I mean, even in the first book, they viewed they viewed um Faye as being like they just eat people. Yeah. And they're horrible things. So like they have this really awkward dinner, and Nesta's like, oh, hmm, you're one of those. What, you want to eat me now? Like, just completely not really down for having her here or having any of these fae here. Uh-huh. And they have to, like, write a letter to someone in order to stop a war from happening. And apparently Tamlin has – he's also, like, just part of this issue. Mm-hmm. Isn't making anything better, which I hate. I wish we would have seen signs in the first one that he was like this. I know, because it just feels like it came out of nowhere. Yeah, I hate it. Like, we're are are we are we as naive as Pharaoh was? Is that why? Yes. Did I fall for it? Yeah, I, I signs. guess I did fall for it. How do you feel that um about reason and reason? <laughs> Reese, I think it's resand. Reese. E and and, and Feyre's um slow burn in this book. I'm not gonna lie, You're I not- was kind of living for it. I was kind of fucking living. I for it. actually really like I- that they pass notes to each other. Yeah, I thought they were really cute, and then yeah. I just love how with them it wasn't like lust. You know, mm-hmm. it happened more slowly, and I really liked that he was always very. I mean, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> and also, please eat. God, please, yeah, please. I, I liked their whole note passing thing. And I liked that when when they were about to get ready for this huge journey to stop this war, mm. they took like a second for themselves. And it's like, you know, this shit's about to go down. Why don't we all go fucking clubbing? Yeah. And they go to booking. I'm guessing this is like because it's Faye. It's like loot playing clubbing. <laughs> like, like harp? Yeah, like just like old instruments. Mm. So just playing like yeah. to the window. <laughs> yeah, like but like everyone's dancing. More chill. And like I think it's Cassian and Feyre who are like, who do you think's going to ask Reese to dance? Like who do you think he's going to take out? Mm. And I think Cassian's like, he ain't taking anyone. Yeah. He is not. And so she keeps an eye on him. And anytime a girl goes up to him, he like politely declines. And it's like, hmm, he thinks he's too good for them. That's yeah. why. And then they have like a talk afterwards. And it's very, very, very flirty mm. where she's like, oh, well, you think you're too good for everyone. It's like, yeah, but you watched me the whole time. So I'm just saying. So are you going to ask her what? <laughs> but if you knew I was watching you, that means you were watching me. <laughs> yeah. 
It's two yeah. ways. <laughs> I don't really understand um, the problem in this story, but I do know that they have to collect stuff. Yeah. And so because they're visiting other courts, they're visiting other courts, and then she's asked to be an emissary, I think. Mm -hmm. And so she is like a representative, which is very unheard of because she used to be human. Mm -hmm. So usually, someone who is representing the court should be someone who has been there a really long time. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't remember how this shit plays out, but she's talking with someone super important. His name is Tarkin. Mm -hmm. You remember him? No. So Tarkin is this guy who's like, here's all of this stuff that I have. It can help you, whatever. And then she tells Tarkin like, oh, 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 Tark, we're so close. <laughs> you just seem like a guy who's really easy to love. Uh -huh. You just seem like that. And it's like, oh, Feyre, that's so sweet of you. And then Reason's like, okay, so so do you love him now? Mm -hmm. You just get one run, run away and marry him too? <laughs> whatever. And then she's like, oh, Reese. Stop acting jealous. Mm. Bam, got you, bitch. Because, you know, they, they just joke around like that. So she didn't really expect him to say anything. And he's like, you know what? I was jealous. Because how fucking, how fucking dare you say that to someone you barely know? Mm -hmm. I'm jealous that you're able to talk like that to him. And like, just, I, I forget what it is, but it's basically like lower your defenses or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, ooh. Be, this got too serious. <laughs> like, be vulnerable. Yes. Mm -hmm. This got too serious. Reese, you got to take, like, ten steps back. And um, oh, they, they share, like, a moment. He is jealous of that because he is not that sort of person for anyone. Meaning that he's jealous that Tarkin is someone easy to love, but Reason doesn't feel like he is. Because he has so much, like... Baggage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for Reese. I feel like Feyre did go through a lot, but then it's it's forgotten that he did too. Yeah. Because he lost. He was so much to the night court before Amarantha. And when he came back, it's like, yeah, I went through all that shit. And now I'm supposed to be the strong one here mm -hmm. and like represent the night court. And then also, didn't everybody forget about him? Yes. When they were in hiding? Because he put like a spell on them mm -hmm. or somebody put a spell on them. And so just that. It's also a lot for him to deal with. Like, they literally have this, like, lapse in their memory. There was this thing. Reese is drinking. Seems sad. He wanted to make an alliance with Tarkin. Because he feels kind of bad. It's like, yeah, he was flirting with you, but he wasn't really a bad guy. Yeah. Feyre tries cheering him up by flirting with him. But then they go back and forth and fight. And then she jokes about sending Lacey underwear to Tarkin. Do you remember that shit? Dude, I fucking hated that because then Reese was like, shut up. <laughs> like, he gets so mad about it. And then they get really, really flirty. Um, I don't know when their first kiss was. Oh, the queen's right back, by the way. And they're like, yeah, we know war is coming, bitch. We've been ready. Jurian just has to be stopped. Who the fuck is Jurian? We still don't know. Oh, it's such a big book. Yeah, and it's crazy to me how the books just get bigger. Like, they just get bigger and bigger. Oh, yeah. Jurian was going to be resurrected because Jurian was slaughtered by Amarantha when she told him what happened with Miriam, which was a girl that he fell in love with. I do I do remember him being dead. I just don't remember how he had died. Um, oh, my God. Wait. Do you remember that Reese and Feyre are mates? Oh, yeah, like, that's a huge, because the thing is, they kiss, and then she's like, I shouldn't be doing this. This feels wrong, but it feels so right. Mm -hmm. And then he's the one that reveals to her, like, I, I, like, you are everything to me because we're faded mates. And then she gets mad because she's like, how fucking dare you? You knew this, and you just never told me. Like, yeah. Because he had known ever since they were both prisoners of Amarantha. Mm -hmm. So he could have said something, but... But didn't he see her before? Like, before everything? I could have sworn there was a moment where he was like, yeah, I saw you, but you were, like, with your family, and, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to fucking bulldoze into your life like that. Yep. So I left you, babe. But you know what? When I saw you, I knew. Mm -hmm. Oh, because he kept seeing her in his dreams. That was actually really cute. And I kind of hate how quickly, though, she was like, yeah, my mate, that's my mate. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. 
it, to me, that whole conversation at the beginning when she was like, I just feel like I fell in love with anyone who was nice to me. Mm-hmm. I wish she would have been a little more. Well, she was guarded, but I wish it would have been slower mm-hmm. to get. Even if she had known, I wish it. But I, immediate. I think when she said that, when she said the whole like, oh, I would have fallen in love with anybody yeah. who would have shown me kindness. I think at that point she was already like fallen for Reese. Mm-hmm. And so she was saying that because there was a point where she was like going back and forth. Like, yes, I I'm with, I wish I am with Tamlin because I don't think they ever broke up really. Mm-hmm. But why do I feel this for Reese? <laughs> why am I feeling this way? And so obviously Reese is also like, girl, how are, who do you love? Who do you want? And that's when she was like, I mean, it could have been anyone. But it's you, babe. I think that was the point of the conversation. Okay. Does she see Tamlin at the end of the story? Yes. Oh, my God. When she sees Tamlin again. Mm-mm. How do you feel about it? I was freaking out. I was actually anxious about this, about the reunion. Because I thought, oh, my God, Tamlin's going to fuck shit up. He seems like the guy who would be like, well, fuck you then. I didn't even like you anyway. I don't even love you anyway. Wait, babe. Wait. (laughs) Wait, come back. So Reese reveals to Feyre that he had seen her at the court and wanted to undo the bargain that he had made with her. So for the three months, he was just convinced himself that she was better off without him. But then she started feeling all of her sadness. And that's why he decided. Mm -hmm. To start the bargain. Yeah. On the day of the wedding, he came because he had heard someone begging for her to be saved. And which was her. She was begging to be saved. And then he started the bargain. He didn't want to tell her why he started the bargain. The day Tamlin locked her up, um, he was so ready to kill Tamlin because of that. He admits that he broke a lot of the rules to get her out. But if he had got her to admit they were mates, it would have saved them from trouble. He just couldn't do it, though. There was too much pressure on her. I love you, babe. Love when you eat. I love that we're bonded. Mm-hmm. So what nice. happens at the end? Let's get to the end. Um, I remember there was something going on with her sister's. Right? It was with the... So the Tam- four mortal queens enter and bring her sisters in. So Tamlin, oh, I think Tamlin did something where now the sisters are in jeopardy because they're captured. And I think the mortal queens have them in like cauldrons or something. I don't remember. I just remember them being in something. Yeah. And then the mortal queens are like, Vera, we're going to kill your sisters. Fucking do it, bitch. Make do it. Caldo. And I think it's because... They want her to break the bond that she has with Reese. Yeah. And so they break it, but the sisters still end up dying. I don't remember why. But then they become Faye. Yeah, they become right? Faye. And then Lucian is there and is like just watching this shit happen and then looks at Elaine and is like, oh my God, that's my mate. Yeah. <sighs> I remember that. I didn't want any of the sisters. But- <laughs> But then at the Those end, the uh, Farah basically is like, Tamlin, I love you. I never loved Reese because she, well, she wants everyone to think that the bond is broken, but it's not actually broken. Mm-hmm. And so she goes to Tamlin. They, she goes back to the spring court. And then at the end, she just basically is thinking to herself like, oh, you know what, Tamlin, I'm going to destroy you from the inside because she's inside of the spring yeah. court now. Um, yeah, and so her sisters are fake. I don't really understand why that happened. I think it was just a way to punish her. I think so. I don't understand why they have so much against a human, like pre human, you know? Mm-hmm. Also, Reese understood why she did that, right? Yeah. It wasn't like he was completely like, she never loved me. No, he knew. No one I else think, knows. Their I mates. think they had, uh, except for his friends. Everyone in the night court. Well, no, they <laughs> no, no, they did think. They know that they're mates because they think that the bond is broken. But what they actually broke was that whole like seeing you every month for a week. That's yeah. what they broke. Okay. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. But okay. <laughs> I think it makes sense. It's a hella long book. Yeah, this book was really long. I feel like a lot happened. But nothing, nothing happened. happened. Because I thought we were going to experience the war, mm-hmm. like the whole war. Did we? 
I don't know. I don't think we did. We experienced some sort of war. Cause isn't I think it's gonna happen in the next book. Oh, but I hate it because I was like reading about the next book mm-hmm. and some- You got spoilers? No, no, no. I didn't get spoiled. But I was reading about it and someone was someone had written like ugh, big Sarah J. Mass fan. I started this book because I really like the second book and it's so boring. Really? Like, what do I do? And then someone was like, I got you, girl. Just power through because the first half of the book is really bad. But trust me, it gets better. And I don't, that's what I don't want out of reading. I don't mm. want to have to sit through something if I have to read 400 pages for it to finally get good. Oh, I wish it was 400 pages. I don't, I, I just, I don't know. I I understand why people like these characters because mm. I do really like Reese. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I don't really understand the big hype. Mm. behind these books i think it's because this is probably most people's first introduction to like a fair a fantasy fey fantasy didn't britney broski read these books oh yeah dude it's kind of crazy because i feel like i've been seeing a lot of people that are in my circle like you know those people who you have as friends but you're not really like friends like that you just knew them from school or something There's so many people that I, I've seen that post, like, books that they're reading. Mm-hmm. And it's always Colleen Hoover or this one. Yeah. I literally just saw recently somebody that I knew in elementary school who finished this book and was like, oh, my God, I'm going to make this my whole personality. That's literally what she said. I'm not being mean. Like, she was just like, I'm just going to keep talking about this because she loved it so much. Yeah. And I just... I feel bad because it's not, it's not bad. I don't think it's a bad book. I don't either. I just feel like... I don't really want to go through such long of a journey where really I only needed like 300 pages out of this exactly. big ass book. And there's so many other books that we have read that are similar in style, that are shorter, get to the point, and feels like there's a reason why I read all of it, mm-hmm. you know? Because I don't really care about... I fucking hate that they had to go visit to go write a letter. Like, mm-hmm. I don't understand why there was so much... So many steps. To get to points. Uh-huh. So I could have I could have done with all, all of that. Mm-hmm. But that's just, I mean, Sarah J. Mass writes thick-ass books. Yeah. They're thick. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, though, because I do have a lot of people that I know from my life that I have on, like, social media. And I do see them talking about books. Mm-hmm. And it makes me sad because it's like, I want to recommend one, but I doubt mm-hmm. you'll read it. Yeah. I have coworkers like that, too. A lot of my coworkers really love Colleen Hoover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, I just want to say that I did really like Reese and Feyre together. I thought they were so fucking cute. Yeah, they like, are. Like, I wish, I wish there was more of a focus on them. Because, I, I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. I do like the fantasy and then the subplot is romance. But... It's a lot. It's I like did. a lot of politics behind the courts. Yeah. And I don't... I'm not there for that. Yeah. I, I guess I just don't care enough. But... Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, Reese and Farah, I, th- I thought they were really cute. Yeah. I agree. I think they're cute, too. That being said, though, I don't remember what I gave it. Hold on. Hold on. Do you want to read the third one? Right now? I don't think so. I'm kind of burnt out. I don't really want to read it either. But I think that's because we've read so much fucking fantasy. I think, mm-hmm. like you said, I think I'm good for a bit. Yeah. And if I we gave did, it a three. If we did talk about the third book, I would want us to read it at the same time. Because I feel bad that I'm like, I don't really remember much. Well, I feel bad too because I read it recently. But I fucking, it was really hard for me to get through. Mm-hmm. I would say this one's better than the first one. But I would still give it a three. Because I give the first one a three. Wow, oh, this one has a lot of five stars. Because people love Reese. That's crazy. Wait, can you check the rating for the third one? A Court of War and Roses? Okay, Stan. <laughs> I totally guessed. I hope I'm right. Hello? A Court of Wrath and Roses? Oh, I think it is Wrath. The third book, apparently, they all do really well. Mm-hmm. All Sarah J. Mass books do really well. Mm-hmm. It's called A Court of Wings and Ruin. Thank you. 
And then after that would be a quart of frost and starlight and then a quart of silver flames. All being bangers, apparently. How did you feel about the book? I don't mind Reese and Feyre, but I just, I hate how quickly we are supposed to hate Tamlin. I wish Lucian would have done more to help her because I did Mm -hmm. appreciate their friendship. Mm -hmm. But I mean, all of that was kind of just forgotten. And uh, Feyre, I don't know. I know she's been through a lot and she's never been one to like ever feel wanted, Mm -hmm. you know, and it is mentioned too that like her family never really cared much about her. She did a lot for them, but it was always just kind of. Yeah. Even I think it was Cassian who like berated Nesta and was like, Oh my God, your sister Mm. hunted for you, fed you, kept you warm, kept the lights on, saved all of the fae and is now willing to die again to save you guys. And you're over here being a bitch about it. Yeah. But like, I, she was, she's never felt wanted. So I understand why, I don't remember where I was going with that thought. Why she would want Reese? Why she wants to be in the night court? Why she's happy? Yeah, I but I understand her, like, I guess, hesitation with a lot of stuff, like, never really feeling confident with, like, the decisions she's making. I don't know. I, I really like Feyre, but I think I'm okay with not ever finishing this series. Mm. I don't think I care enough about them to continue. And I was reading some of the comments for the other books, and apparently what keeps the books going are the side characters, not the main characters. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I love that. I don't think so either because then. So then I'm supposed to be waiting for the side characters to entertain me. Because everyone's favorite character is apparently Cassian. Mm. Which I get it. He's kind of slay. Yeah. But. But. Um, I feel like I'd like Lucian if I was that girly. Mm-hmm. If he would have actually spoke up a little bit more. Did you know, I totally off topic, but because Brittany Broski read all of those books, she was invited to an Audible event. I saw that. How'd you feel about that? That's cool. Good for her. I kind of wish it would have been for more books, but I mean, whatever. I feel like she would become a reader, though, after reading those books. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's read more, but I know she reads a lot. Yeah. I'm okay with letting this book rest. I feel like... Only way we would read the next one is if maybe, like, one of our patrons asked really nicely. And was like, please, this book changed my life. Trust me, this book was so good. Trust me. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. Actually. Other than that, I don't think uh, yeah, I like, I feel like someone would have to, like, ask and, like, really want it, you know? <laughs> He's like, okay, fine. Since you said please, uh, <laughs> guess it'll work. Dude, oh, my God. It kind of feels crazy reading so many different types of books on this podcast Mm -hmm. because it's like, damn, we went from fucking hella ass spice and this. Oh, there was spice in this book. I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah, there was. And um, Feyre. I don't remember if I liked it. I think I did. I think I did, too. But it was just so long. I kind of forgot about it. But it just got buried in everything else. Overall, a pretty okay book. Not really down for the length of it. But either than that, do you have anything else to say? Nope. Thank you so much for everyone who is listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or anywhere you get your podcasts on. Um, If you can leave us a rating of five stars and a review recommending another book, if you really want us to read the third one, just give us like a month to recuperate. (laughs) That's going to take so much energy. Maybe Um, more than a month, honestly. Yeah. Because we film film in bulk. Yeah, we do. So that would mean we'd have to read it right now. (laughs) If you are um, wanting to help us and you have a little bit of money, what can they do? So we do have a Patreon. And at the moment, it really just serves as a way for our listeners to let us know that you really enjoy our content. I mean, we do post twice a week. That's a lot of books. You can find us on patreon.com slash bookfix. Or if you don't want the commitment of monthly, you can also find us on Coffee, which is ko-fi.com slash thebookfix or buymeacoffee.com slash thebookfix. And if you are watching us on YouTube, thank you so much. If you can like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell because we post every Tuesday and Thursday. We also have an Instagram and a threads at 
um, the book fix pod, T H E B O O K F I X P O D. We have a TikTok at the books fix, T H E B O O K F I X. And then we have a good read at the book fix pod, T H E B O O K F I X P O D. Thank you. Um, you want to read what a positive or a negative review of this book? I'll do positive. Okay, I'll do negative. My review comes from Jessica. They gave it five out of five and they wrote, reread this just so I could say with the utmost confidence and truth that chapter 54 is the greatest chapter ever in history of literature and no one can convince me otherwise. This is a quote to the people who look at the stars and wish and to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered, end quote. I wish Resend was real. 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 Come on, stars. You better not let me down. Me about Woody from Toy Story. Okay. Wait, what? Me... Do you not know? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> they knew that about me. A Court of Mists. I know that you love Toy Story. <laughs> I like that's... that you had to think about how to say that. But like. I just like Woody. That's you know sometimes i think about Woody and i cry um so this is written by cindy who gave it a one star and wrote this book was 600 pages of slog to get through i understand how people would consider the sequel to be an improvement since the main character shows more agency and certain tropes are reversed but the de- the development was very on the nose and came at the expense of turning other characters into cartoonish villains The writing suffered a lot from telling and not showing, especially when it came to the dialogue, where it was mostly consisted of the main character asking questions, which would result in other fairies answering via several pages of monologues in order to tell the exposition and characters' background stories. This would be fine if I cared about anything in the book at all, but I don't. People hyped this book up to be some trashy erotica, but there were only two sex scenes towards the end. Otherwise, this book is just very boring fantasy story. Update, the more I think about it, the more I realize I didn't enjoy anything about this book. So yeah, one star. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Take out the food. Is, is that is that what's next? What's next? Dude, I just really... Do we really want to say it here on the podcast? Well, let's not know. say it because we might not do it in that order. We need to get recommended food. 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 That's it. Uh, we need to get recommended books about chefs that fall in love so we can make the food that they say. <laughs> That's what I want next. That's very specific. That's very specific. And also, who's going to cook it? <laughs> Us <laughs> together, <laughs> like hands hands over each other. Like, Oh, wait, here. I'll help you salt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, that's kind of cute. It's romantic. Okay, next. Please, guys, give us a uh, book with a lot of recipes. And then a cookbook. Like, <laughs> I Dude, I love it. Chapter 12 with the panini really got me. 